uh, the president and CEO of Woodland Pond. Uh, I'm actually home today. I took the day off ish. I'm still doing some work, but I took the day because I had some yard work and things to do. Um, and what a beautiful day it is. So I wanted to take advantage of the nice weather um, before the rain comes in towards the end of the week. So I do have some updates today, and uh, I think I'll start with some things that go with the day today. Uh, Gretchen asked me to remind you that uh, at 2 p.m. today in the pack, we have a fantastic program um, being put on by a professor from SUNY New Paltz uh, about the geology of our property. Um, and I think some of the surrounding areas, um, you know, here in uh, the Schwangunk area, and I think that that will be really interesting. Uh, and I uh, hope that you all attend that. At the same time, um, we're actually also having our monthly birthday party. So if you have your birthday in November, you will have gotten an invitation for that. That is gonna be at 2 p.m. today in the game room. So happy birthday to you all. And I hope you enjoy that party. Uh, let's see, the next thing, very, very important. Um, we have uh, on Thursday, we are going to be bringing back our traditional um, more traditional uh, Veterans Day programming um, to celebrate all of our vets. Uh, we do have somewhere between 50 and 60 veterans on campus, and uh, we always like to honor them. So we start that with a veterans breakfast in the main dining room at 9 a.m., and that is for all of the veterans and their spouses or significant others. Uh, and you do need to RSVP for that if you are planning to attend. So if you've not done so, please uh, give your name to concierge and we will make sure that you uh, have a place at the breakfast table on Sunday morning, uh, on, excuse me, Thursday morning at nine. Uh, also that afternoon at 2 p.m. in the pack, uh, we will be doing a Veterans Day recognition program. We've done this many, many years now. Uh, I am honored to be part of that program and, um, you know, show our appreciation to the veterans for all that you've done for our country um, and um, honor you that day. So that's at 2 p.m. in the pack on Thursday, um, and that's open to all residents to attend. Uh, the next thing, I don't know if you all saw in your email this morning, but if you haven't seen that yet, uh, we are doing a Beach Lake Bakery pickup on Saturday of this week. Um, it kind of came last minute but uh, the folks at Beach Lake Bakery did put together a menu for us. Um, you can, or an order form, I should say. So concierge has those order forms. You do need to get your order in by tomorrow at 5 p.m. Uh, so if you wanna participate in that, I know a lot of you really like their granola, um, some of their breads. Um, she's got a whole bunch of pies on there for the season. Um, so you can get that order form from uh, concierge if you didn't see it in your email and go ahead and make your Beach Lake Bakery order. So that's exciting. Uh, COVID on campus, we have nothing to report, knock on wood. Um, we have no known, known no suspected, uh, no one that's reported any exposures. So uh, we're happy about that. Uh, let's see, boosters. We do have booster dates on campus. So CVS Pharmacy will be coming with a pharmacist on uh, the 23rd of November to boost those that had the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, so if you had the Pfizer vaccine, uh, you can sign up with either concierge or reception uh, and we will schedule you for your booster on the afternoon of the 23rd. Uh, the Moderna booster, that is going to happen on the 30th of November. So that's uh, most of the independent living residents. The Pfizer was most of the uh, health center residents and staff. Uh, so if you did have Moderna, you would uh, be boosted and you haven't had your booster yet, you'll be boosted here on campus if you'd like to be on the 30th. Again, please sign up with either concierge or reception. And uh, some of you have asked if your approved caregivers are able to be uh, boosted on that same day or those same days and the answer to that is yes. Uh, but they do need to sign up in advance. Uh, my understanding is that uh, the time slots are going to be between 1 and 4 p.m. And it, as of right now, we anticipate that it's going to be first come, first serve during that period of time. Um, so I would be prepared to wait, uh, maybe plan on coming at 3 instead of, you know, right at 1 o'clock. But we'll get you some of those details as we get uh, closer to um, that date So the, or those dates. Uh, let's see, we have, uh, the last thing I just wanted to mention, we do have, uh, I, I put something to this effect in the Chanticleer last week, 
but you're going to be hearing about it quite a bit more from me because um, there is a substantial um, enhancement that we are going to be making to um, helping support you all in independent living um, in a way that's not really typical of independent living, but we have identified um, that there are some, some definite trends um, that we're seeing with folks that could use some assistance with keeping up with pet care, uh, keeping up with uh, some incontinence care issues, keeping up with uh, your garbage uh, in your apartments, or your cottages, um, people that are having trouble, it seems, keeping up with dishes, uh, clutter, these kinds of things, that all of these things um, can really very quickly lead to you living in an unhealthy environment, um, an unclean environment, an environment that, you know, is host to pests. Um, we, we really want to help you avoid all of those things. So Sarah is going to be beginning to put that um, those enhancements into place. Um, we're working to identify some additional um, resources to help us to help you in your homes. Um, Sarah will be contacting those of you that we have, you know, either concerns about that have come from either housekeeping staff or maintenance staff, or maybe your families have come to us and said, you know, I think mom or dad can't really keep up with their pet. Um, so we are going to be, you know, really, you know, putting those resources into place. Um, in some cases, there may be some fees if we have to bring, um, you know, outside people in. And we will notify all of the affected individuals of, you know, what's needed and, you know, what that will look like. It's very similar to approved caregivers. It's just this is very focused on um, the cleanliness of your of your environments. Um, so lots of folks have got, you know, folks coming in to take you to the grocery store, you know, provide companionship and so forth. Um, and uh, that's that's wonderful. But we we definitely need some of you definitely need some help keeping up with you know, the, the, the environment that you're living in. Um, so we're going to be having, you know, added meetings um, as management team and with the staff. And then we will be reaching out to those individual residents that um, we think need support in specific things and letting you know how we're going to accomplish that. So if you feel that you could use uh, some of that help, if you feel like you're just not being able to keep up with your litter boxes um, maybe your, your dog is getting older and, and, you know, messing in the, in the apartment or the cottage. Um, maybe you're having trouble with, uh, keeping up with certain parts of laundry and, and so forth, dishes, uh, cleaning out the fridge, those kinds of things. You can certainly also reach out to Sarah and we can get those services, um, you know, you know, assigned to you. Um, but we just want you all to be living in the cleanest and healthiest possible environment. So, we're going to go the, the next step and, and start working on that pretty um, systematically. So um, that's all I have for today. I can hear my dogs are barking, uh, <laughs> which you could probably all hear too. I will be back in the office tomorrow. And although Thursday is a holiday, I will be in the office Thursday and Friday as well. So if you need anything from me, you know where to find me and you know how to get me on email. Thanks.